Hello everybody, this is Matt at Fix My GPU. Uh, today we have the three ring red, red ring of death Xbox with the error code 0102. Uh, I'm going to turn it on for you, show you the lights. I've already taken it apart and blown it out. There's the three red rings to find out your error code. Right here's the sync button, and right here's the eject button. You gotta hold down the sync button, hold it down, and then you push the eject button four different times. Zero, because it's four lights. One, zero, two. So that's our error code, and that's uh, the GPU, one of the GPU codes, um, the 0110 has to do with the RAM chips that are right here underneath the uh, heat sink there. Um, so that can be fixed as well. There are other ones, you just have to contact me and let me know what you have. Um, so what I'm going to do today is because I've already got a lot of videos out there, I'm basically just going to show you this one. Um, show you as much as I can. I might not show you everything because I've already showed a lot. Uh, I'm getting questions from people asking me about just using hot air gun systems. Or not even, I don't even know if they're going to use a hot air station. They're just talking about using hot air gun to remove the chip and put it back. I just want to let you guys know that is not even simple at all. Uh, it's hard as heck. And more than likely you're going to damage underneath the chip and you're never going to get every single ball liquefied at the same time. It's not going to be even heat. I don't even recommend it. Uh, when I started this out a long time ago I started with a hot air station and it just didn't work. So that's my opinion on that. So now I'm going to take this apart. Um, I'm going to clean the glue off around the edges and uh, show you how I lift the chip off. Okay, I want to go through a couple things for those of you who are actually doing this. Um, what I do, where I'm getting my products, what I've been using, um, and then I can go ahead with the process. Um, the jigs, I got a sra-solder.com. I believe it's solder.com. Uh, I don't think it's .net. You can probably Google sra-solder and it'll come up. Um, that's where I get the jigs from. With the Xbox jig, I don't have to put washers underneath the... Uh, underneath the bolts because the posts won't come through the holes like it does on some of the holes in the middle on the PlayStation jig. Um, let's see what else. Um, so in my PlayStation video you noticed that I was using the hot plate here versus the underneath heater on the Jovi. I always use the hot plate now. I don't even mess with the under heater. I was using this one that I got at Target but the reason why I was looking for another one was because this one that I got at Target actually has a little bit of a bow in the middle it kind of dips down you can see the drain spot I didn't want that so I told myself if I ever was out and I could find one that was completely flat and big enough I was going to get it and I found one and I got it at Myers. still made by Presto you can see uh, it kind of goes like this on both sides, but it's completely flat. Completely flat. There's no bow in the middle. Um, so that's what I use for my hot plate now. And the reason why I use that and not the lower heater is because the lower heater is too small and does not heat the board up evenly. And it will bow your board if you're not heating the board up evenly at the same temperature. So. Like I said in my PlayStation video, um, the lower heater on the Joby, I would say, is made for like cell phone circuitry, smaller boards like that. So, uh, what else? Um, the S or the uh, low mount solder that I was getting, I was getting at Zeph.com. It's this stuff, and you get it in sticks. But I also told myself if I could find it in bigger quantities for a better price, I would. And one pound roll of low melt. It is, uh, right there it is. 
right there. 50-32-18. And the 18 is cadmium, I believe. And at uh, the one pound roll. And I got the .4 size, I believe. Yep, .4 diameter. So I got that roll for like 40 bucks instead of the 18 sticks for like 20. Uh, big difference in price. Uh, the sponges that I was getting, I'm getting from Harmony Business Supplies. Was getting them at uh, www.harmonycr.com. I was getting them off Zeph.com, and they were freaking ridiculously priced. So I searched around and found a bag of 50. I, I can't even tell you. It was a, it was a huge difference. Uh, also off Zeph.com, I was getting their BGA Flux. Um, <laughs> once again, overly priced on sra-solder.com I believe I can get a gallon of this for $88 with that's shipping and everything RMA Spear number 99 so since I'm doing so many of these I mean I'm doing at least two a day sometimes only one but right now I'm at least doing one to two a day I decided to find a place that I could get the stuff cheaper and in more quantity. Um, trying to think, anything else? Uh, I always use the heat uh, direct stencils. I don't use anything else now. So much easier. Uh, I just, I just like it so much better. Um, that's pretty much it. I can believe if I can think of anything else that I can help you guys out with, I'll let you know while I'm doing the video. But right now, I'm going to take off the glue around here just by pointing my hot air gun at it and kind of peeling it off. And then I'm going to pour some of that liquid flux underneath of it and we're going to remove this chip. Also, on the bottom, I'm going to put some Kapton tape on those four RAM chips because they are BGA and I don't want them falling off. Anything else? Alright, so I'm going to pause it. I'm going to um, clean off the thermal paste. Always try to clean off the thermal paste before you, uh, you know, maybe use a little tiny flathead screwdriver. Don't be rough with it. Uh, scratch it off, get as much of it off as you can before you start cleaning it with your MEK. Otherwise, you're going to make a mess, and the thermal paste on these Xboxes is hard as heck to get off, anyways. Okay, I'm going to pause it, clean that off, get the glue off, uh, tape up the bottom ram chips. I'm going to flux it with uh, the rest of the Zeph flux that I have underneath of it. And then we're going to heat it up and take it off. Right now I've got tape on the ram chips, capped on tape. I've got some Jovi clear uh, silver tape on the components. Right above the chip, there's no other components around the chip. Um, I'm gonna lie, there's three right there I'm gonna tape up. Um, don't have anything on the CPU like I put on the PlayStation. Uh, got my capped on tape on the RAM chips underneath. I already took off my glue around the edges, cleaned off my thermal paste. Trust me, you want to tape off these components around because you don't want anything to hit them while they're hot and dislodge them. Ask me if I've done that before. And I'll say, no. Yes. And it's a pain in the butt. Okay, so. See where we're at with the tape. I'm just gonna pour let the flux run underneath. Come
comes out the other side. Clean up the mess. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to put some Kapton tape on the chip as well. I told myself to do that and just now remembered. components on top of this graphics chip. You're safe and sorry. I wish I would have done that before. I'm trying not to make this so boring while you're watching it. Okay, so we're fluxed. Put it on the Jovi. Turn my Presto all the way up to 400. Take a Q-tip, dip it in some MBK. Clean off your thermal or your temperature probe. Okay, now I'm going to show you why that's heating up. I'm going to let you guys know a little thing about Joby software. Kind of stupid. I don't know if it's because I use this wireless mouse and it goes off on me. But I always have to hit Control Alt Delete because it locks up on me in the program. I have to turn the Joby off. I have to open up the Joby software again and then turn the Joby back on. Pain in the butt. But it doesn't matter at this point because we're just using our Presto plate. Okay, so I always go to my tools and options and make sure my temperatures are at 240. Sometimes it resets itself and changes. I don't know why. Okay, so we can see we're moving up. It's getting hot. 